Everyone, I am so proud to introduce Augusto Cuellar, one of the most amazing designers and cultural pioneers <laughs> here in San Antonio, Texas, and the Southern US, ladies and gentlemen. Augusto. Hi, Kat, it's so good to see you. Oh my God. We are longtime friends. Yes, we are. Um, but Augusto, he has won that Cultural Pioneer Award for very good reason. Augusto, can you kind of explain to our global readers our, and, and our global um, viewers just some of what your mission statement is with everything you do? Wow, you know, I'm really invested in the San Antonio fashion community. I got the, uh, like you mentioned, the Cultural Pioneer Award uh, uh, for 30 years of being um, an advocate, um, uh, a, a, a pave a, a trendsetter. But you know what? I wasn't the first one. There was people before me that have laid the foundation, and I'm so so excited to be able to continue that. I, I work with sustainable fashion. I am an um, entrepreneur with my, a boutique. I, I do a lot of everything, but it's all about sharing it with our younger youth. Absolutely. And Inspiring. For those who actually reside in San Antonio, a lot of people will remember Jive Refried was an institution here. It was an incredible secondhand shop, uh, very quirky and amazing, just yes. like Augusto. And everything that Augusto has done since has carried that same caliber of uniqueness and uh, empowerment and color. And just color. So much color. It, it, it's a word that is called. Uh, rasquache based in a very Mexican term and so I turned it around and called it rasquachic and it's about taking whatever is around whatever is available and making something beautiful out of it um, that's my aesthetic uh, I just recently opened up a brand new uh, boutique in uh, San Antonio called Agustin named after my grandpa and we're located at Blue Star Brewing Company. I am working on my 24th collection for spring, summer 24. Hopefully I get to show it elsewhere than San Antonio, but I love this city and the fact that it gives me so much back. Absolutely, and you know, who better to represent where we are than someone like Augusto who cares so much about the people that he serves and about empowering the youth Yes. Uh, as well as those who never got the chance. He's definitely one of those people you want to keep an eye out for. Thank you so much for letting me be part of this Pepper Magazine interview. I wholeheartedly support it because it's something amazing and the person behind it, the brainchild, is definitely part of it. So I'm so honored to be here. Thank you so much for having my voice heard. Absolutely. Thank you, Augusto. <laughs> Hello, everyone. And please introduce yourself for our global viewers right now. Well, hi there. My name is Antonia L. Whitney. I am actually one of the members of Fiesta Youth, and I am the host and MC and performer here at Dreaming and Holt Fashion Show 2023. It's amazing, you guys. We have amazing local designers, celebrity models, amazing performances by myself and other local drag celebrities here. We have amazing uh, cocktails that are handcrafted made. Shout out to the bottom exchange. Everybody is having an amazing time. It's going to be fabulous. <laughs> Absolutely. So um, as far as the show today, uh, do you feel like everything is coming out really great, that everyone is uh, well represented? Yes. And, and well, like, that the, uh, that the artists are able to truly showcase their voice right Honestly, now? Honestly, yes. Just because um, the one thing I love about this show is that it shows all diversities. I, myself, being a non-binary person of color, I absolutely love the fact that, you know, we can come here in all shapes, creeds, colors, and just have a fabulous time, show off amazing fashions for the upcoming year. You know, you're gonna see some amazing designs from Austin Allegra, Lyria Price. It's gonna be incredible, you guys. I'm super excited. I'm actually um, wearing um, Crystal Combs, one of the uh, co-producers of the show. She styled me for this event. So I'm wearing one of her uh, actual pieces that she styled for me, and it's super fabulous. I might have to take it home with me. <laughs> she does an incredible job. Uh, she also does See Clear Photography as well, so you guys can look her up online and on Instagram. Yes, she does uh, an amazing photography and job. Her and, her, uh, her and Richie are incredible. Yeah, absolutely. Richie is actually 17, 18 years old. Yes, she is 18 um, years old. 18 years old, and they have uh, helped their mother 
put together this entire event alongside Fiesta Youth, yes. uh, again, who is also uh, being represented today, and a very wonderful nonprofit for everyone to check out and look into. You guys, no matter where you are in the world, go ahead and look into Fiesta Youth as well. Yes, yes, I love Fiesta Youth. I wish I would have had this when I was growing up as a youth. You know, it's fabulous, it's amazing. We have multiple events throughout the year. We do events from Midnight in the Garden of Evil, which is an official Fiesta event. We do Hocus Pocus Gala, which is an awesome Halloween costume event. We have this event. We have um, our LGBTQIA plus youth prom. Oh my gosh, it's the biggest LGBT youth prom in Texas. It's amazing. We have close to 300 kids come every year. It was incredible. Last year we had Fairy Tale Paradise. I myself was there because I decorated the event. I also have an event company called Lux by Lanel. So I usually do majority of the decorations here with the events. It's absolutely fabulous. I love it. And um, a more important question right now, what kind of message do you think running events like this and having them more frequently, more regularly, what kind of message do you think that sends to our youth? I think the message that it sends is, is that it's okay to be yourself, to be your wholehearted self, to be who you are, no judgment from no person, even your family. Your family is supposed to love and support you. It's absolutely incredible. I think it's always great. Like I said, I wish I would have had this when I was young. So we're actually just so glad that this is going on even now. Uh, you know, absolutely, I feel like it should have been uh, before now, but that it's even happening now is wonderful. So thank you so much. For thank you so moment. much. I appreciate it. Thank you, my darling. <laughs> thank you. Hello, of course I would. So who are we speaking with today? Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Iris Floor. I am the reigning Miss Gay San Antonio America, and I'm here to support the community. It's a fabulous event tonight. It's wonderful that so many people are showing up and showing out. How do you feel about how the LGBTQIA community is being represented in San Antonio right now? Right now, I love it, especially with everything going on in Texas and in other states. Having an event like this means so much, especially for the youth. We're trying to teach them to be proud of themselves, empower themselves, and to just have fun with life. So having an event like this is amazing. Absolutely. Um, do you feel like there are certain things that the fashion community in San Antonio can do more of that will uh, create better representation within the industry? I mean, that's a question of doing more events like this. We have one, we have a precedent set now. We just grow and expand from here. So you heard it, guys. More of this. That's what we need, OK? Absolutely. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you for speaking with us. And congratulations. Oh, so for our global viewers, this right here is Janelle Concepcion, the president of the Texas Fashion Industry Initiative. So, hi. Janelle. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> You are actually uh, hosting the event in part and speaking in the event in, in part, right? To no, no, I'm oh, here just as the guest tonight. So yes. You're absolutely just representing the initiative. Yes, wonderful. Texas Fashion Industry Initiative, our one nonprofit dedicated to spreading the good word and growing and empowering the Texas fashion industry. And they have done so much to elevate the fashion industry here, not only in Texas, um, in, in uh, San Antonio, but in Texas and the southern U.S. as well, uh, giving opportunities to people from all over the country uh, to come here to learn and to express themselves. Uh, and Janelle, so specifically this event is uh, very geared toward the LGBTQIA community. Yes. Um, how do you feel about the opportunities and the representation um, how, has, how does it differ now than it did a few years ago in the fashion industry here? Well, I would say absolutely yes. Definitely here to support our LGBTQIA community and our members as well because we have TFII members that are here tonight that are going to be showing uh, on the fashion show on the runway. So we're very excited to help them and support them in any way we can. But I, I definitely can say that we've seen a huge growth in not just like the LGBTQIA fashion community, but the fashion community in Texas as a whole. Like people are coming out in every sense of the way, right? And so we're here to support, we're allies, we love, we're a huge part of the community as well. So 
I mean, it's just been an honor to be invited at all, to be honest. But we're very, very grateful, and we're also here, you know, just to make sure that we're spreading the word and that we are showing you all off to the world. You know, now the CFDA has caught wind of that, and they are supporting regional fashion weeks, including Texas Fashion Week, Texas uh, Fashion Industry Initiative, and then other regional events as well, including Nashville and other parts of the U.S. So it's really, really cool that we're part of that growth because nationally and internationally, we're like on the scene now. We're here. Oh, absolutely. You know, and uh, for us, it feels like everyone's been sleeping on San Antonio and you don't want to sleep on San Antonio. There's so much amazing stuff coming from here. Um, Well, and that's a good thing that you say that because normally in Texas, like the big fashion hubs would be bigger cities like Dallas or Houston and even Austin. But note that San Antonio is the seventh largest city in the United States of America. And we're on the path to getting to the sixth place of that because we're growing by a million in the next 10 years. So we're well on our way and just making sure that we are represented in every sense of our community. That's very important to us. Where do you feel uh, the fashion industry as a whole uh, segues well in Dream Week as far as all of the innovation and things? I know there's a lot of new ideas and ideology that's coming out of the fashion industry. Do you feel like Dream Week is doing a great job of incorporating all of that? Absolutely. Dream Week is one of the highlights of the year. Notes. But definitely thinking in terms of diversity, inclusion, and showcasing the talents and highlighting all of these people that are, they've been here. It's not like they've, that we're discovering them. They've been here and we're just giving them a platform and Dream Week is doing that as well. And so collaborating with Dream Week in any way that we can and participating in everything that we can get our hands on, that's what we're here for. Absolutely. And you have heard it from the president of the Texas Fashion Industry Initiative herself. We have been here. Thank We're not you. going anywhere, guys. Not at all. <laughs> Thank you. So, would you introduce yourself for our global viewers, please? Sure. My name is Lisa Dante, and I am honored to be a model in the show. Wonderful. So, who are you walking for today? I'm walking for two designers. One, the first one is Nancy Graham, and the second one is Adrian Younger. Wonderful. And uh, of the designs that you're modeling, do you particularly have a favorite piece that Uh, we're going to see out there today? You know, I do. This show is so spectacular and so amazing. All the looks are phenomenal. But one of the really cool outfits that I'm wearing is head to toe sequins. Mm. So I think that kind of goes with the the theme of today. And I mean, you can't say no to sequins. Sequins in the daytime, sequins in the nighttime. Right, you, <laughs> you, you can't really go wrong with that. Absolutely. So, and so yeah. uh, how do you feel about uh, the fashion industry in San Antonio in general, how far we've come? Uh, what, do you, what do you think about uh, the, just all of uh, what we've got going on now in 2023? It's, it, it truly, truly is amazing. And San Antonio has the reputation now Uh, because of the involvement of the local designers, because of all of the people that are really in the fashion industry here, they have really raised the bar and brought it to a a new level. That was Carrie. (laughs) Absolutely. Uh, You know, they've really raised the bar and um, it's become truly recognized for, uh, you know, being one of the very progressive fashion cities in Texas. Absolutely. So it's really cool. Thank you so much sure. for taking a moment to Thank speak you with us. so much. <laughs>